Now is 8.05. We are less than a week away from Halloween. And if you need some decorating ideas for your jack-o'-lantern this year, help is here. Oh, it is. So what's the best way to decorate? Do you decorate, paint, carve? What do you do here? Well, this morning, Sunrise reporter Sarah Jones is showing us tips to do it both ways. Hey, Justin and Alyssa. I'm back with Lauren Cook here. And we went with this stencil. It's the little claw aliens from Toy Story. So, uh, Lauren, tell us, how. what were the steps? What did we do? So getting your stencils, the first step, I use the zombiepumpkins.com. That's my favorite place to go for stencils for pumpkins. Um, in this case, we decided instead of carving, we were going to paint. So we um, used painter's tape. We stuck, a, we stuck it down um, in pieces onto this cutting mat. And then we taped our stencil on top of it in place so that you could easily use an X-Acto knife and just follow the lines. Um, Practice makes perfect with this one, but it doesn't have to be perfect for sure. I tried. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, you did a great job. So after you have cut out all the pieces, um, you gently lift the painter's tape up off the cutting mat, and then you're able to transfer it onto the pumpkin. And this was the tape stencil that we had, and then we laid it on the pumpkin, and then how did we paint over it? So we're just using uh, black paint in this case. We have a little spongy guy, and... Um, after the stencils stuck onto the pumpkin, we're taking like a thick layer of paint and pushing it into all the spots on the stencil. Um, and then after you're completely filled in, you can easily um, peel the tape away from the pumpkin and then see what you're left with. So most of the time you have to clean up lines, either adding or taking away. But while the paint is still wet, if you just have a clean brush and a little bit of water, it's easy to clean up your lines. And this is what we ended up with. I promise I tried, but like Lauren said, practice makes perfect. Yeah, and time too, for sure. It's it's all about patience, for sure. And you also mentioned that these last longer than carving. They do, yeah. So you're able to have a little bit more freedom with what you're doing and keep it for longer. Um, the only thing about the acrylic paint is it's not weatherproof. So if you put them outside on your stoop or something it, and it rains, it's probably going to run. Okay. And then next you're going to show me carving mm -hmm. and uh, we have a little carving kit. These are just kits you can pick up at any grocery store. It comes with all the tools you need for cleaning out the pumpkin um, as well as the carving. And, and they come with a little book on the back that has stencils. Great. Thank you so much, no Justin problem. Melissa. When you come back to us, we'll start carving.